Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBatcher.com, out here for another gear view, and today I'm talking about something kind of interesting, which is the Q Collar by Q30. So, what is it? It is not this, it's just a cool case for this. So, it is basically a pretty neat, pretty clever, low-tech solution for a problem. Problem being brain injury, like traumatic brain injury, concussions, all sorts of things like that. And so whether it's in sports, think like football, or in the military, think one being around explosives, whether it's like large explosives going off next to you, or even just explosive breaching, basically different trauma to your brain. So on the one hand, you have a impact like football, smashing your head against someone else's head doesn't usually work out very well try and pad helmets all that stuff as much as we can we want to basically cushion the brain because it bouncing around your skull not a good thing and there's consequently a lot of traumatic brain injury in that and then you go over to the military side where you not only have traumatic brain injury from blasts explosions things like that as far as being inside armored vehicles all kinds of different scenarios like that, but then explosive breaching. So you have this blast wave pushing through you and it wreaks havoc on your brain, glands, everything like that in there. Causes a lot of problems down the road for people. So how is this like pretty simple yet elegant device basically kind of combat that? Well, I am not a doctor or a scientist, but I did go to a little bit of junior college one time. So I'm gonna do my best to explain this as I understand it. Fortunately, it's fairly simple. So this collar, you put it on and it goes around your neck like that. Magic. So what does it do? Well, one, there's a sizing piece, I'll show you in a second, but one, make sure it's actually sized right. So it's putting the right amount of pressure on your neck. And where it's putting pressure is basically on your jugular vein. So if you're unfamiliar with anatomy, you have your jugular vein, you also have arteries in there too. And we're putting a little bit of pressure onto the jugular vein. So what does that end up doing? Well, it arguably restricts the blood flow a little bit, the return blood flow from your head back down to your heart. What is this doing for us? Well, it's basically keeping the volume of blood in your head a little bit higher than it would otherwise be. So fluid inside your head to include blood basically acts as a buffer and protects your brain. So one, if you were really dehydrated, then you have less fluid in your head. And then on top of that, obviously, if there's just less blood volume in your head, then there's ultimately less of a cushion. Like that's basically the premise behind the cue collar. So by keeping a little bit more volume of blood in your head, you can cushion your brain from any types of impacts or shock waves, things like that. That's the premise. Pretty simple, pretty clever, yeah, simple solution. And as I mentioned, there's this little gauge. Basically it's a go, no-go gauge. So while wearing the collar, you essentially have one piece over on one side, and then this should be somewhere within this little green window, and that's like, all right, you're good. If it's outside that green window or inside of it, no, it's a no-go. So pretty clever little gauge. What that's doing is basically putting this, basically giving it the right amount of pressure on your jugular so that one, you have enough pressure to actually keep blood flow, like more volume in your head, but not so much that it's gonna constrict and be a detriment to your athletic performance or make you pass out or anything like that. So, like I said, not a scientist, not a doctor. How have I used this? Well, honestly, most of my time I've actually spent with it has been skiing and I try not to crash. I will say I have in the past ate it hard coming down a mountain and like pretty much bounced my face off the snow, literally saw stars. 
that's not a good thing. Probably mildly concussed, did not have this on. I go out of my way, like I said, not to crash. So I didn't throw this on and be like, all right, full speed, full power. Let me go chuck myself like off some jumps and try and crash. Now, I always try and land them, which sometimes I do, sometimes I do not. But I can't say that I actually had any terrible crashes with this thing on. And usually when I go and try stuff, it's usually because there's powder. A lot lower consequences for crashing hard, going off jumps and stuff like that. So can't say I used this and had any type of metric with respect to potential head injury with this. One place I did use this that I will say I absolutely positively saw a benefit to was actually working out in the gym. A couple things with that. One, having this on, is it comfortable? Not really. Is it uncomfortable? Not really. It's just a little bit of pressure on your neck. And with that, did I find there was some like degraded performance with respect to like athletic performance in the gym, being able to like work out? No, not really. It's not like I pulled this off and all of a sudden there's more blood flow. It's like, oh man, I can go so much harder. I'm like, no, if I was working out really hard, then I was working out really hard. Didn't really have any effect on me with respect to that. I will say if I was working out really hard, having this on became maybe a little more uncomfortable, especially like on that far end of the output spectrum, but not a big deal. I didn't recognize any degradation with respect to my performance or anything like that. But I will say in the gym, somewhere I absolutely saw a huge benefit was doing double unders. So if you're unfamiliar, basically jump roping and the rope passes twice when your feet are off the ground. So rather than just skipping, it's like twice through with the rope and you land. More than anything, like it's coordination more than anything, but it'll spike your heart rate really quick. And in doing double unders, I found that with this, or we'll start without it, if I just started cranking out a bunch of double unders, eventually I would get a headache. And I say eventually, I mean, once I got past like doing like 80 unbroken or something like that, you're just going, 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 and you're basically just jumping in place and your brain's bouncing in your skull. And yeah, like I would get a headache. And then if I was trying to do a bunch unbroken, get up around like 120, 130 unbroken, and I would just stop because it would be like an excruciating headache. And then it would take a while for that headache to go away. With this, I could put this on and eventually I would stop because I'd get worn out, but it wasn't because I ended up with a headache. I think I ended up with this, got a new personal best, like 233 unbroken, which took forever. And by the time I got to 233, I'm just like, I'm just done. Like, I don't, I don't want to do anymore. <laughs> and I just stopped. Probably could have done more. I didn't trip, anything like that. I was just like, I'm over this. This is so many. And I stopped. I was pretty tired. But this absolutely allowed me to get to that number without feeling like my head was gonna explode. So again, haven't taken any impacts because I try to avoid impacts with things in my head. But with that, that I have done in the gym and like a legitimate metric for how I performed and how I felt to with, or I'm sorry, without this and then with this, noted improvement, like night and day difference. Big picture, I think it's honestly really cool. In the past, I've done stuff to raise money for SOCF, Special Operation Care Fund, and they do some amazing work for people that end up with injuries. And a lot of them actually revolve around like traumatic brain injury and things along those lines. And I think this as a preventative is pretty amazing. A couple fronts. One, it is so simple. Like it's literally just a collar you're wearing and not very expensive, like all in all. And so these units, I wanna say, and again, they're sized, you basically take like a neck measurement and then it's like, okay, based on your neck measurement, this, this, or this size, 
and there's that go no go gauge in there but price wise you're looking at like 200 bucks is that expensive not compared to traumatic brain injury like literally a simple preventative thing that you can use like there's no moving parts doesn't matter if it gets wet sweat into it anything like that lightweight throw it in your bag whether it's your ski bag something along those lines and yes if you want they make a multi-cam version i think it's like 250 bucks probably because they're paying to license multi-cam from cry but i think they're pretty cool they have been seen a bunch of use and good results in like the nfl where you would definitely want to wear these and especially parents of kids who are in contact sports whether it's hockey football things like that again not a lot of money a lot of peace of mind i remember my oldest he ended up with a concussion i think it actually happened at school ended up bouncing his head off the ground or something like that but as a kid i definitely remember getting concussions and one we just didn't know any better so it's like okay whatever now if you get a concussion it's like okay you need to do this like here's these very strict guidelines you need to follow with respect to looking at screens or concentrating on this like visually for too long like sleep all these different things hey be aware of this really serious and for something that you can use as a preventative for that like i think there's definitely value there even if it's just for skiing or something like that or like i said if you have kids that are involved in any type of contact sport probably want to look into that but there'll be a link down below where you can go check it out both to order them as well as some of the research by actual doctors not to be confused with me and yeah i think they're pretty cool definitely stays in my gear that i take skiing because yeah try to avoid banging my face off of things but if you're interested there'll be that link down below and last but not least if you appreciate my content and want to support it greatly appreciate it to include supporting me directly through either patreon or utreon all that stuff helps me go out create more content for you but as always thanks for joining us at kitbadge.com look forward to seeing you next time